So it wasn't that long ago that we interviewed MSI about their P65 Creator Series laptop, a beautiful white laptop that I was super impressed with when we met with representatives from MSI Canada. And at the time I said, you know what, I would love to review one of these things if you send it out to us. And you know what they did? They sent us out a laptop and you've seen it on my desk as we've been doing EP Lives. It's been running graphics into our television sets. It's been running some of the gameplay footage. We've been playing games directly from it and it's become a useful part of our production. And one of the great things about this P65 laptop is how light it is and how flexible it is. Very sleek, thin, light kind of profile. The one that they sent me is a white one. This one comes in around a $3,000 price point and it's really not marketed to be a gaming laptop. They're really kind of positioning this thing to be a laptop for content creators, people that are working in Photoshop or working in the whole Adobe Creative Suite. Maybe they're cutting videos in Final Cut or something like that, or they're working in AutoCAD. I didn't really do any of that stuff. I used it almost purely as a gaming laptop because quite frankly, if this thing can handle gaming and some serious gaming at some pretty serious outputs, it's gonna be able to handle anything. Yeah! So I put some pretty heavy games on this sucker. I put Devil May Cry 5 on it, ran it beautifully. We actually played it on EP Live through our television sets in front of a live audience and everybody was super impressed with this. Took it on the road with me when I went to Mexico City recently and I've been addicted and I continue to be addicted to The Division 2. So I started a fresh install of The Division 2 on the road and I have to be honest, it looks better on this laptop than it does on my Xbox One X at home. And I was missing it when I went back to the Xbox One X and I've got a 4K TV set and, you know, it's it's beautiful and the HDR is all great, but I don't know, there's something about the way the lighting comes across the screen. I'm not getting a 4K resolution on this thing. It only goes out at 1080p, but it's a 144 hertz screen. So it just felt really, really slick and smooth and the gradients on the lighting and everything just looked incredible and I don't know man everything just seemed to move a little bit better and look a little tighter that just blows my mind that a laptop a gaming well it, it's a gaming friendly laptop it's a creator laptops MSI I know what you're trying to do there with with the marketing on this thing but it really does perform well as a gaming system of course I threw a lot of indie titles at it I love playing bro force on this I pretty much throw bro force on any machine that I ever get I even played Forza Motorsport 4 downloaded that and it syncs up obviously with your Xbox save so it had me right in the James Bond cars and I was racing around looked incredible but the real test for me was I wanted to see how it was gonna handle VR they told me it was a VR ready machine I said okay well I've got the oculus rift let's throw that on and I hooked up a sensor and I played a little lone echo and it ran beautifully I played some Beat Saber that was perfect and I played some brass tactics which is the real-time strategy game super cool game by the way you're actually moving around the table but I that's loud but I tested out all of these VR experiences and they handled great this is an incredibly solid machine. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? It doesn't have super beefy hard drives on there. I had some SSDs on there. I think in total I had, a, I don't know, less than a terabyte's worth of storage. So I was having to delete some of my games off of the internal storage. I mean, that's easily solved by just having a really solid external storage device that has all of your games or something like that on it. Yes, it would add a little bit of a, you know, encumbrance to you, but if you wanted to pack a huge library of titles or a huge library of video files or something like that, just get a good external drive, you'd be fine. I didn't mind the weight of this device at all. It's about four pounds. I didn't dig where they put the power connector thing. It's sort of right in the middle of the laptop on the right hand side of all of the inputs in there and so it sort of gets in the way of the HDMI output which I think is a little bit weird it would have been much better plugged into the back I think that would have been cool the grading and the cooling systems on it seem to be really solid it does get a little bit warm if it's running a game for a long time I did notice that the power bar will get a little bit warm as well the brick is a little bit large that you plug the laptop into there's no SD card slot which I thought is a little silly being that this is supposed to be a creator's laptop and presumably one that many photographers and videographers are going to be attracted to but you know what there's very little that I can quibble about here this is one of the finest laptop testing experiences that I've had and I've had many PC laptops over the years some PC gaming laptops and things like that you know I'm more of a Mac guy so I'm not in the PC work ecosystem but I have played tons and tons of games on PC and honestly this thing has been perfect for us I think you are going to be very impressed and you should absolutely look at the MSI P65 
P65 Creator Series laptop. You can bring that into work, and then you can play whatever game you throw at it, and you're gonna have a great time. It's an excellent machine. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10.